Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. In my last video, I gave you a close-up look at the Extreme Passer Pro. And in this video, I'm gonna take it on the ice, test it out, and show you guys what it can do. Let's go. Don't you just love that sound? All right, we're gonna start with some easy passes here, show you how it works. You can see right here, you'll wanna aim for the center. Uh, if you hit too close to the post, you're gonna have to reach for those passes to get them. Uh, so it's not too hard when you're stationary, just put it right in the center, comes right back, you get nice consistent passing. I do this to set it, so I just stand on it and kind of push it a little bit, and it really digs the spikes into the ice. Uh, so right here, I've got it uh, set, and I'm practicing, practically wrist-shotting the puck into the rebounder, and it takes a lot to actually get it to budge. So I give it a few nice hard ones here, and I think, yeah, this is the one that sets it off, and then the, it doesn't give a good pass right here. So all you gotta do is go stand on again, and you're good to go. So I got it set up here for some uh, one-timers, so there's a nice uh, little bar down but i found it's challenging here so that one goes behind me uh, this one goes too far in front of me uh, so you don't get a lot of good pa passes back but when you do it's nice to really let them rip so i found in this situation the uh, best way to set up is just stationary so put it at whatever angle you want and just work on clapping them uh, so it's really easy to get consistent passes back when you're stationary when you're moving it's a bit tougher so i think i uh, got a couple bar downs on this one I found the Extreme Passer Pro was a lot of fun on the ice for stick handling. Uh, because of the two-sided design and the shape of it, you can really work on moving the puck all around your body and just kind of being creative with different moves and stuff. Uh, so this uh, drill here, I kind of borrowed it from Sidney Crosby. He uses a stick and works on flipping the puck over. But I liked using it with the pass rebounder because then you can work on receiving and giving passes in sort of awkward uh, positions. And I mean, of course, there's all kinds of other things you can do on the ice, so I'm just kind of playing around with it here. Uh, so it gives you a pretty good idea of what you can do with this on the ice. I'm back at home, just gonna give you my overall opinion on the Extreme Passer Pro from HockeyShot.com. So personally, I think that this one is the best pass rebounder on the market, and that's because you get the best of the best. So when it comes to rebounding the puck, uh, it uses bungee cords, which I think give you the best rebound when compared to last advance. Uh, so it's got the best there. Uh, for the size, it is the biggest one available. Uh, also for versatility, you can use this one off the ice or on the ice, and you can put it anywhere. So compared to a clamp-on model, uh, you can only clamp those to a shooting pad or turning tiles, but this one, you can put it right in the middle if you'd like, uh, basically anywhere. So if you have already have a uh, smooth surface at home where you practice your stick handling and shooting, then definitely the Extreme Passive Pro would be the best one for you because you can put it anywhere and also take it on the ice. If you don't have any place to practice at home, I'd probably recommend the Extreme Passive Kit because that comes with a rebounder and a shooting pad, sort of like an all-in-one training tool. Uh, but for anyone who already has a nice smooth surface, definitely the Extreme Passive Pro. A few of the features that make the Extreme Passer Pro the best, in my books anyways. Uh, number one is the size, so it's nice to have a little bit extra size to pass the puck into, especially when you're on the ice and you're moving. Uh, second one that I really like is the dual bungee cords in the back, so you have two rebounders instead of just one. Uh, you, that means you can do a lot of fun sort of stick handling moves on this if you're using it by yourself, or if you have two people, they can both pass into it, uh, one on either side. So just a little bit more versatile than the other ones. Also, really heavy duty. Uh, heavy weight means it's not going to be banging around and moving a lot when you're using it. Uh, the durability is definitely there. Really good quality made product for this one. Alright, so I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of training with the Extreme Passer Pro. I've already mentioned a lot of things I like about it. Now I just want to sort of talk about training with it. So the only thing really to mention is that the more accurate your pass is into the rebounder, the more accurate the pass back to you is going to be. Uh, so what that means is you want to pretty much aim for dead center. If you get anywhere between center and probably about a foot out, you're going to get a really nice accurate pass back. But from there on out, the closer your pass gets to the posts, the less accurate the rebound to you is going to be. Uh, so it's not really noticeable when you're stationary. It doesn't matter. Just a minor adjustment and you can really uh, get that consistent passing back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so you're, you have really seamless, nice flow to your training. But the further away from the rebounder you get, uh, the less accurate your passes into it are going to be, and that means less accurate the passes back to you are going to be. So I did find it challenging from a, a big distance, uh, trying to hit the rebounder, and when I do, getting a nice pass back. Uh, the biggest one I noticed, the most challenging part of training with the Extreme Passer Pro, was when I'm on the move. So if I'm going really fast, trying to get a nice hard pass into the rebounder, and then getting it to go where I'm going, not where I just came from, is the biggest challenge. Uh, so I don't really recommend it for high speed training, because you know it's an inanimate object. It doesn't read where you're skating to, so it's really hard to get a nice bank pass, sort of like a give and go pass to it, and then take the tape pass right back to where you're skating. Uh, so if you're gonna do uh, you know high speed training, passing, 
work with a partner. Besides that, really like the Extreme Passer Pro. Um, off the ice, you can really hammer down on the fundamentals of passing, you know, doing your forehand, backhand. Then for stick handling, it's nice to have because you have uh, both sides. So you kind of work on some fun drills, moving the puck all around it. And then for shooting, I mean, you can put this thing anywhere. So you can work on receiving passes from basically any angle and then getting a nice hard shot on net. So you're working on your quick release and your accuracy and, you know, just getting that puck on the stick and off the stick really quickly, which is really important in hockey. Uh, then you take this thing on the ice. You know, it works great for a lot of different drills. So you be creative. I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot of different things that you can work on with the Extreme Passer Pro. If you guys want to pick up the Extreme Passer Pro, it's only available through HockeyShot.com. I've got the link to the product page in the video description. I also have a coupon code down there. You punch that in, you're going to save $10 off the Extreme Passer Pro. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching the video. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, you know, every month I'm releasing new videos on how to improve your skills, so skating, stick handling, shooting, and also do product reviews like this on a regular basis. Thanks a lot for watching the video. See you guys in the next one.